Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I post mostly Disney content and the occasional lifestyle video. I really like to post unboxings and I am so excited because today is a special unboxing video. I have been waiting and waiting for this box to come. This is a Be Our Guest Express Halloween box, a one-time Halloween box. And this one was the customizable option. So they had two different ones, I believe. This one was $115. So with this one, you actually filled out a questionnaire with preferences and everything. Um, they had another mystery Halloween one-time box, but that one was just whatever they wanted to send you. I've tried out this company once before. Last month, I did a double unboxing. I'll link that video below if you haven't seen that one yet. But I was really happy with it. And one thing I like about gear about Guy, Be Our Guest Express is that you don't have to be locked into a subscription because sometimes when you want to skip a month it's easy to forget and I like how they have a lot of one-time boxes and actually the two boxes that I ordered last month I just got them as one-time boxes so I don't have a subscription but I really like them so far. So I think I will continue to keep trying the one-time boxes. I know that they just released a Christmas box and that one has even more levels. Like I think there's like a $200 one you can get. There's customizable ones, non-customizable ones. Um, and I am not a sponsor. I purchased this box. I purchased my other boxes. So this is a review from a paying customer and yeah i'm really excited so let's look at the box first the print on this is so pretty let me show you guys i love the purple first of all the purple background and then they have all of these cute disney symbols i love the disney or the mickey ghost there's a tinkerbell so stinking cute and then when we turn it, we can see more of the symbols. Is this supposed to be one of the Sanderson sisters? Probably. All right, so let's get into this. I'm really, really excited. I actually haven't seen anybody else's Halloween unboxings yet for Be Our Guest Express. So I don't know, I don't really know what to expect. I know that I filled out the questionnaire, like what Halloween type of stuff you like and the villains and all of that kind of stuff. I am not actually a big villains collector, um, but I did say that I like Mother Gothel and I like Oogie when he's green. I like Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. Halloween stuff though, I really like the Mickey and Minnie like Fab Five merchandise. So let's go ahead and see. Here we go. When I first open it up, they always package these really nice. Here is the packing slip. We'll definitely save that to the very end. And okay, so there is a really pretty little art card. Oh, this is cute. Happy Halloween. I was just saying how I love Mickey and Minnie Halloween merchandise. That is adorable. On the back, they're roasting marshmallows with Pluto. And last time I got these boxes, they had a free art card like this in each of my boxes, and I thought that was really nice. One thing about Be Our Guest Express, if you've never um, seen any of these before, that's kind of their thing is that they'll send you art. You can get Thomas Kincaid's. In this particular box though, I actually asked for no art because I really like to get it, and I have that Peter Pan back there. Um, that came from Be Our Guest Express, but for like Halloween stuff, I didn't really want art for that. I'd rather have other merchandise. This is an adorable sticker. Let me show you guys this. Look how cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I think I see, yes, a red box on top. I don't wanna see who, oh good, okay. I picked it up from the right side. I didn't wanna see who it was. This is big though. There's a couple that I kind of requested. They had options for Jim Shores and they asked like if you wanted a Jim Shore to pick three of them. And I definitely remember which ones I picked. So let's see if I got it. There's one that I really, really want. Ready to look inside. Yes, okay. I am super, super happy. This is the one I wanted. 
oh my god. This is enormous and it's beautiful. I got Mother Gothel. Let me get it out here so I can show you guys. She is really expensive. <laughs> so I knew that if I did get her, she would be one of the only items in my box and I'm totally fine with that. I always choose quality over quantity. I would definitely rather have more expensive items and less things in the box. And she is well worth it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, this is so pretty. She is so detailed. So here is the front. And we've got to look at this at all angles. So there's her face. And turn her to the back. This is the coolest part. So on her little cloak, we see the king and queen and baby Rapunzel. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh, I love this. And Tangled is one of my favorite Disney movies. I do have a small collection of Tangled Jim Shores, so this will go perfectly. And this is like, it's a villain, but it's not necessarily just Halloween. I can definitely have this out all the time. Not that it really matters, but this goes perfectly. I have, I have a Rapunzel by herself and she's like holding her paint palette. And then I have the Rapunzel and Flynn boat scene with the storybook in the background. So I'm really, really happy to add Mother Gothel to this. Let's Oh, this is cute. Aww. Oh, this is so cute. I got this little Mickey plush. I did say that I would like to get a plush and I said that I like like Mickey and Minnie Halloween merchandise. I don't have him. He's adorable. So there's the Mickey from the Disney store where he's wearing like the pumpkin outfit. And then I saw pictures of this one from the Disney parks and I really, well, okay, the pumpkin one is cute, but I really like this one. I like this one better. So I'm really happy that they ended up sending him to me. Look at his little top hat and the pumpkin and his little outfit is adorable. And then he's got like a little cape in the back. It kind of looks like he's a circus ringmaster or something or a magician i don't know <laughs> like he's running a show but this is a really cute monkey I'm, I'm excited about that all right let's see if i oh okay this is cool i did check a box that i like the wonderland magic bath company products and I thought that this was really cool because on their questionnaire, they had some small shop items. And I said in my preferences that I really enjoy unique small shop items. You guys know from my videos, I do a lot of small shop hauls. I really, really like small shop stuff. So I have this Oogie, what is this? Shower frosting. So it's like soap that you would use in the bath. And I really like Oogie, especially if he's green. So it's really cool that this is some green stuff to use in the shower. I did just recently order some Halloween stuff from Wonderland Magic, but I didn't get this one. So that's really cool that I got a new one. And for some reason, I forgot to show you guys what this looks like when you open it and to say what it smells like. It has like a really sweet smell to it. It just kind of makes me think of candy, like candy corn or something. It smells really good. It has like a marshmallow sweet smell and it kind of looks like marshmallows or whipped cream. And there's one more week left until Halloween. I'm gonna like really use all those bath products this week to get in like the Halloween mood. And I got a snack. I said that I really wanted a Halloween snack. <laughs> this is funny. It's like all stuck together in a weird shape, but this is so cool. I love candy corn. I'm trying to get this back into shape. And I have seen this before, but I've never tried the candy corn popcorn. So this is exciting. The packaging on this and the colors, it just looks really cool. I really, really like this. Should I try it right now? I think I'm going to. I wasn't originally planning on it if I got a treat, but you know what? I think for the sake of the video, I should open it and try it. Of course, if I open it, that means that we gotta start eating it um, because it probably won't stay fresh very long, but that's okay. We're in like the week before Halloween, so this would be the best time to eat it. So let's try it. Hmm. 
Yeah, it does have like a candy corn flavor. It tastes a lot like marshmallow to me. It's sweet, but it's really subtle. It's not like overly sweet. That's really good. It kind of reminds me of caramel popcorn, but it's not as sweet as that. It has more of a marshmallow flavor. And then I noticed that there was one more thing in here, which kind of surprises me. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. It's an Oogie straw topper. Ooh, it like feels really cool. It's like really smooth. It's adorable. If you watched my recent Halloween small shop haul video, I, sh I shared some straw toppers. So I actually really like these. My friend Jenny makes them from Potsalicious Studios. She's on Etsy. This is so cute. It's the green Oogie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just excited. I wasn't expecting to get something like this. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yes. So let's look at the packing slip now. Like I said, this box was 115. Okay, so the Mother Gothel Gym Shore was 75. I knew that was the price on that. The Halloween Mickey plush was $22.99. That sounds right. The Oogie Boogie Shower Frosting was $12.95. The Oogie Boogie Straw Topper was $5, and the Candy Corn Popcorn was $6.99. So that gives my box a total retail value of $122.93. So I definitely met the value that I paid, and my opinion on subscription boxes and stuff like that is you should always get 10% back over what you paid. So I paid $115, and the box was $122.93. So yeah, that's like pretty close, 10% over, right? I'm not good at math in my head. But yeah, that sounds about right to me. So I, did, I think that it was a good deal, and I really did like my box. I think they did a good job. They really listened to my preferences on the questionnaire, so I'm really excited to get another one. I think I will go ahead and get a Christmas box I love Christmas merchandise. I can't wait to see what they put in something like that. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. What was your favorite item? Mine is definitely the Mother Gothel. She's just amazing. I'm so happy about this. Let me know also if you got one of these boxes and what you thought of it. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!